I wanted to pop in for those who don't follow me on social media and let you know here on YouTube that if you were around for Operation Right Home Days, our dear punch has crossed the Rainbow Bridge this week. Really sad. Um, he's been with me for 22 years. He's been a faithful little kitty boy. And I still have his big sister. Yes, big sister. She is both bigger in size, but she's also older. So I don't know how long she'll be around. But he has been with me forever. And I don't really know what life will be like without him. But yeah, he's gone. So thank you to all of those who sent me messages on Instagram and Facebook and everything. I appreciate your condolences. Go hug your kitty and your pup for me because you don't have eternal days to do that with each one of them. But in addition to letting you know this sad news, I thought I'd share a little happy as well, which is that I finished Inktober. And yes, I know it's October 30th, but I did tomorrow's earlier so I could get this video done and thought I'd do a flip through. There is a page that's going to contain all of these still pictures along with telling you what mediums there were and a little bit about each page, maybe not a ton of them, but a little more information on each one. But it's only available to those who sign up for the Gratitude Junk Journal class. It's part of that class. And my lesson in the class, everybody's going to be teaching something different, a different technique, a different idea, a different thing you're grateful for. But mine is that I'm grateful for doodling. I'm grateful for the ability to add drawing onto any piece of artwork. You can use any background. I did the backgrounds for this particular book like um, over a month ago, I guess it was, and shared a bunch of that here on YouTube. I'll link you to that video. And then I just did the doodling portion during Inktober. So it was kind of fun to have all these backgrounds to choose from. They're out of order from the prompts because I was looking for a background that inspired whatever picture that I wanted to draw. And then just added them in different kinds of pens, different kinds of techniques, and just had a blast with it. There is one lesson that I'm teaching that's going to have some pen work as well as some art graph work. We'll get to that in a minute. And in that, you can do whatever you want. It's not a tutorial like here, draw this thing, draw that thing. It's just inspiration to get you started on being brave enough to draw. And I talk a little bit about finding the shapes within these backgrounds, because that's a lot of what I did throughout this entire sketchbook is finding pages where the kinds of lines that I was looking for were already in that background and that I could put them all together and morph them in, in some kind of a way that it would make sense, but inspired by the paint that was already on the page itself. So this is the one that's going to be taught in the class. And I'll talk you through the process of how I found the different lines. And, you know, once you do the main lines, digging a little bit deeper. This is a raven that I put on another page that I did here on YouTube. I'll link you to that one as well. And uh, yeah, just had fun with this book. This page was particularly fun and I'll turn the lights off so you can see what it actually does. Because if you have a black light, I have a black light that's a flashlight, then you can make the moon glow in the dark. <laughs> I thought that was kind of a silly and fun use for black light ink. And uh, yeah, then drew some potato chips in this last page. So that's my book. And if you're interested in the Gratitude Junk Journal class, which is basically art journaling where you add junk from your studio. I added mediums from mine. Uh, it's still on 20% off until November 1st. It, November 1st it goes up because the class begins then. So make sure you sign up right away and save yourself a few bucks. And I will see you next week with my tags. All right. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>